This is the IST Health Tip of the Day. I'm your host, Roberto Parker. This podcast, we tackle the tough questions related to exercise, training for athletes, human performance, biochemical, biomechanical dysfunctions, problems that sometimes you have questions about that you don't quite know the answer to. So stay tuned, enjoy, take good notes, and God bless. Well, hello, everybody. It's been a while since I've done this, but this is another IST health tip of the day. Today's topic is cold immersion or ice baths. Now, these have become somewhat popular, in fact, very popular in the last probably five or six years. A lot of people are talking about them. I recall probably 30 plus years ago, I was a coach for some major college universities and the athletic trainers, after two-a-day practices in football, would place many of the players in ice tubs up to their necks. Now, the players didn't like getting in there. I can't say that I blame them very much, but I'll tell you what, in speaking with many of the players, it really reduced the soreness, the soreness possibilities and soreness symptoms that they would typically have during two-a-days. Because back in those days, now they don't do two-a-day practices anymore in football, but back in those days, they'd have two, three weeks of two-a-day practices. And the guys the first week would always be sore tremendously in between practice. Now, as a result of taking these ice baths or cold immersion, the inflammation process would be significantly reduced. So let's go forward a few years. Now, cold immersion has become very popular among mainstream. You find now that certain health spas are doing it, certain trainers are doing it. I personally don't do it at my facility. I'm not set up for that, but you can do it in the comfort of your home. As a matter of fact, in a few minutes, you'll see what I'm going to do here. It might shock you, but cold immersion is a good therapeutic modality for reducing inflammation, for boosting your immune system. You can also improve your skin tone. And there's a few other things, too, that I wrote down here. Okay, it will certainly reduce muscle soreness. We talked about that. In fact, they have found that this is anecdotal, that it may even reduce some depressive symptoms. If you have any sort of manic depression, it might help to reduce that. That's probably related to reducing that inflammation because uh, depression is also associated with inflammation. Now, how about losing body fat? That's a big one for a lot of people because when you shock your system with cold, you start to stimulate brown fat. Now, if you look up brown fat in some research, and I'll put some stuff on the link here, you'll see that brown fat is linked to increasing the metabolic capabilities of the body, which can lead to fat loss. Whereas white fat is the stuff that you accumulate that is not very good. Brown fat helps to increase the circulatory processes and the metabolic processes, which can lead to some good healthy weight loss. Now, the last one here is actually not, not the last one, but next to the last one is it helps to improve your lymphatic capabilities. Now, the lymphatic system of the body is the draining system that helps keep your body clean. It drains out a lot of the the dead stuff and the toxins from your body. And that's what you want. That can also lead to reduced inflammation. Now, the last one is improved circulation, blood flow. How big is that? That's huge. And that's also what leads to reduced inflammation, helps your skin tone. And one more, fill in. It can help improve your sleep. Now, it's probably related to melatonin here. Because when you shock the system like that, when you go to bed at night, you're going to have better melatonin production. So cold immersion can be a good thing. Now, you might say, how often should you do it? Well, it depends on what your goals are. But I'll tell you this, the water should be about 50 degrees at least. Now, if you can't tolerate a lot of cold, I wouldn't go much colder than that. Some people can tolerate down to 35 degrees. Now, according to some articles that I've read and some and some studies I've read, you probably don't want any lower than 35 degrees because you start getting into some hypothermic effects. 
but there are people who will get it down in the mid 30s but they're pretty attuned to it pretty adapt to it i'd say probably at least a couple times a week maybe once a week once again it depends what your goals are if you're here heavy duty training duty training every day i've read some articles where you can do it after a training workout after an intensive training workout if your goal is just to uh, just to feel better just to break it up a little bit maybe one or two days a week like i said it depends what your goals are okay so having said all this guys i hope this video has helped you understand cold water immersion or ice bathing you can also do it with showers by the way i almost forgot that not quite as effective but you can do cold showers which can also stimulate some things in there not quite as effective as plunging up to the neck level so do your own homework by the way check me out on facebook i'm on there youtube i'm on there rumble i'm on there i now have a site it's called body weight training or body sculpting go to hard work hard bodies Dot com and get signed up it's only 55 dollars a month you'll get four workouts per month that's going to be relative to your body type and your lifestyle type and your motivational type so go to hard work hard and get signed up for my body sculpting program no matter where you live in the world guys take care god bless this has been another ist health tip of the day bye bye Okay, I said I had a little surprise for you guys, so here it is. I'm going to take the cold plunge. I've got about 21 pounds of ice here. I'm going to put into this bathtub with me. This is my therapeutic modality for the evening. This is a seven pound bag. soaking in ice water and it's cold as I mentioned in the lecture good for inflammation immune system stimulating brown fat helps you sleep helps muscle recovery try it you'll like it now should I dunk myself under the water well I really don't want to